that's not gonna be a nice thumbnail, is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs>
I'm sure we definitely have more bubbles than this because that is not a lot of bubbles at all. Oh, speaking of bubbles, some gold sparkly ones. B and M. Some red tinsel. So we have red and gold tinsel. I think we're going for a red, gold and green classic tree this year. Oh, a few more bubbles and one of my special ornaments. Um, yeah, obviously I can talk more in depth about the things on our tree when we actually decorate our tree. Oh, and then we have some more of my special baubles here. A little up that Idris got me, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, possibly. My Whitney decoration that my mum got me, I think, my mum and dad. Oh, and then Idris one as well to match. And then, oh, this is what me and Idris got from Belfast Christmas Market last year. It's a special ornament and it just says Christmas 2019. And we picked this one. Obviously, it has a front door and it's the year that we first moved in together. So, yeah. And that seems... Let me just put those away. We can't have literally had only that bauble. Only those baubles. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Hmm. The last thing in the bag is these lights from Tesco's. So, basically, oh, I don't think I said, but we have gone for a seven foot tree and it's a very light, fat, full tree. So, one thing of lights and one thing of bubbles is definitely not going to do. So, looks as though we're going to be getting lots of decorations today, especially for the tree, but also there's some few other things that I want to get decorations for. So, we'll have to get cracking. Um... I can't believe it, but it's already turning dark, so we're going to have to get going soon. I'll take you along to all the shops that we are going into, like I said before, and then I will do a little haul when I get back. And yeah, so stay tuned for the rest of this video, and I'll see you in the shops. So we are in the car now, about to go to the first shop. Where are we going to go first? Idris. Where are we going to go first? He's too bothered by his car to talk to the video. Idris! Don't know where we're going first. Right, okay, well, we're in the car going about to head to our first shop, wherever that is. And it started raining and I haven't brought a coat today, so that's great. But yeah, we'll let you know when and where we are going first. Toodaloo, lovelies, toodaloo. <laughs> There's your dose of Idris for this vlog. Yeah, that's what we've done. Vlog, this, come shopping with us, whatever I want to call it. Yeah, anyway, we'll see you again soon. We have arrived at our first destination. Ooh, b and Ann. Idris is so grumpy. Mm -hmm. So we've just finished in B&M and yeah, it took us a while to decide on decorations but we got there eventually. We've just put those things in the car now and we're heading to the range to have a look at some other things. Yeah? Mm -hmm. As you can see it looks like it's about 10 o'clock and it's about 5, 6 o'clock. But anyway, yeah, on to the range. Up. We're waiting in the queue. So we finished in the range now and we're sat at a red light hence why I look red. And now we're just going to head to the last shop of the day, Wilkinson's I think. And yeah, we, I think we've been successful, but I don't really know. Probably find out when we've, when we do the mini, when I do the mini haul, or when I do the haul when we get home. So we'll see then if we need to go back out and get any more decorations at all. We've come to McDonald's. Oop, just pop the light on whilst 
quickly tell you that we finished in Wilkinson's and we went and got a McDonald's as I think you saw and now we're going to head home and eat McDonald's and then I shall do the little haul of things that we picked up today. So see you after I've eaten and ready for the haul. Oh my god, there's Christmas wrapping! Hello, so we are back home now and we have eaten our McDonald's as you probably saw. Yeah, it wasn't that great actually, but never mind. We're not here to talk about McDonald's. So I know I said that I was actually going to film a haul or film the whole bit of what we actually picked up today, but I've realised that we haven't picked up enough um, and we definitely need to go shopping again tomorrow. So I thought instead of doing two hauls I would do one haul tomorrow after we have been shopping so I can just show you everything in the one go but yeah it was so busy today and finding Christmas decorations that are specific to what me and Idris would like or should I say Idris would like the red green and gold theme has been a bit hard but yeah you'll see more tomorrow and hopefully we'll be able to pick up some more decorations to decorate the flat for next week and yeah I feel like I'm just rambling but I did just want to show you one thing that we picked up today I thought I could give you a little teaser a little insight into one thing we picked up so I just wanted to show you our wreath how amazing is that so it has like these frosted pine cones and like red berries. And yeah, so we picked up that for our front door. That was from the range and it was I think 18 pounds or 18.99. I'm not sure how expensive that is for, for a wreath, but obviously it's not real. So we're just going to use it again and again and again. So I thought that would look really nice against our front door. I'll insert a picture of it um, tomorrow or I can insert a picture now if we put it up. No, actually, no I won't. I'll leave it for the video next week. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that because originally I wanted to go for a giant bow on the front door, which last year Idris didn't want, but this year he was going to agree to it. So we were going to have a bow for this year, but we came across that wreath in the range and we both really liked it, so we picked that up instead. I am now going to go and wash this off and probably have a cup of tea and then me and Ed just are going to watch The Crown. We've really been enjoying it. Have you been watching it? If you have, comment below and let me know. I'm really enjoying having Diana in this season and yeah, I find it all so fascinating. But anyway, you're not here for that, you're here to see our Christmassy haul. So I shall pick you back up tomorrow when we head out to more shops. I think we're going to try, well we're going to do our food shop at Aldi as we usually do. And I went there the other day and they definitely have some decorations in there. So I shall pick up some from there. So we'll go to Aldi, Asda as that's next door, see if, that, see if they have any nice things in there. Um, JTF which is actually where we got our tree farm which is kind of like a wholesale um, warehouse kind of place but yeah they definitely had lots of decorations in there so we're going to try there and finally I think we're going to try B&Q because Idris and I actually looked on the website a couple of days ago and they have some really nice decorations and they're not even expensive so we definitely want to give that a go and then hopefully we have enough to make the flat Christmassy. I also have some things that I've that my mum that my mum gave me a while ago. I had them for uni, but obviously I didn't have my own place to put them up. So I might show you them in this video. If not, you'll definitely see it next week in the decorating for Christmas video. I've definitely rambled too much, so I'm going to go ahead and join Idris to watch the crown and. Yeah, I'll pick you up again in the morning, so I'll see you very soon. Good morning and welcome back to the continuation of this video. 
It is now the next day, Sunday, and we are going to head out now to go to the rest of the shops to look for some more Christmas decorations. I think I mentioned yesterday that we're planning on going to Aldi, Asda, JTF and B&Q to see what we can get. We are both up and dressed and Idris is just finishing enough getting ready now and then we are heading out. I'm so excited to see what else other shops have and it looks like a lovely day outside so a nice day for going shopping. Let's face it there's not much else to do at the moment so yeah I'm hoping for a lovely day and then a nice relaxed evening but it's not actually a weekend vlog it's more of just a vlog of come Christmas shopping with us so probably won't show you later on but I'll definitely do the big haul of all the Christmas decorations that we have picked up over the last few days and show you everything where we got it from and hopefully I can tell you the price as well just in case you want to go out and get it yourself just to point out Yep, I'm still wearing the same jumper as yesterday because it's just so comfortable and I just love it. If you're wondering, it's from ASOS and I got it recently and yeah, the comfiest thing ever. So I'm going to go and now write our Aldi shopping list because we're actually going to be doing our food shop at the same time and then I'll pick you back up when we're actually out shopping. So we've just finished shopping in the Aldi. Um, I didn't manage to get any footage of us in there because it's really busy and we were obviously doing our weekly shopping as well um so yeah I, we didn't manage to get any footage but we did actually pick up some christmas decorations so i'll be um sure to show you that later on in the haul we're at jtf oh, it's just gonna be good crack oh, look at them that is massive how much is that I'm trying to show the Christmas trees. It's like a little winter wonderland. Oh, it's so cold. Anyway, we've just finished in JTF and spent a fortune on baubles. I can't wait to show you the massive pack that we got from JTF. We definitely don't need any more baubles for the tree, which is good. I think Idris is a bit surprised at how, ex how much money we've spent on decorations. Definitely not cheap, especially when you've got a seven foot tree that really needs to be decorated fully. But you know, at least it's going to last us quite a few years, I imagine. It's not as if they're not going to last as long as we look after them. But wow, they had real Christmas trees here. Um, oh, I forgot to say Idris is just at one of those little like food places getting us I think some hot dogs but yeah anyway um they had real Christmas trees here which I think I showed you and real Christmas trees are really not expensive like there was one for 25 pounds and I think it's it looked like the same size as the tree the artificial tree that we've got which is like seven foot and it was like 25 pounds and I thought that that's amazing like obviously we wanted an artificial tree this year so that we've got a Christmas tree for every year but last year we had a real one and we really enjoyed having that so yeah some some years we may go for a real tree and then some years we might use our artificial one so at least we've got both options but yeah if you're worried about having a real Christmas tree you never had one before definitely definitely think they're worth it they smell amazing and once you've put them up and they've settled down there's not really much cleaning up to do as long as you don't touch the tree that much. Just waiting for Idris to come back with the hot dogs and then we are just going to Halfords I think. Idris needs something for the car I believe and then we'll head back home and I'll show you everything that we've picked up in the last few days. Idris said I should show you my half eaten hot dog because it's Christmas vibes. Here's you, you got it from a <laughs> Christmas food store. Let's mean. show the chips. Oh, can you see me? Why are you asking them if they can see Because it's went really dark then. Keep that in you. <laughs> Chips and hot dog. Looks like you're eating my hot dog. Hot dog! <laughs> it's actually really nice. So we're just going to, just going to eat this now. Mm -hmm. So we are back from Christmas decoration shopping now. In the end, we only ended up going to Aldi and JTF and then we popped in 
to Halfords because it just needed to on the way home. But yeah, we only went to Aldi and JTF because basically we spent quite a lot of money on decorations already and there was nothing else that we felt we needed from either Asda or where else did I say we were going? Being cute. In total, the places that we went to to get our Christmas decorations were B&M, The Range, Aldi and JTF. So with that being said, I'm now going to sit and do the whole part of this video and show you everything that we have picked up to decorate our tree slash flat. The decorations are mainly for our tree, but there are some other things that we did pick up for the flat as well. So yeah, I'll get started now and show you everything that I, or that we picked up and I hope you enjoy this part of the video. So first up, I thought that I would show you the things that we picked up from B&M and The Range because we went there first yesterday. So I shall show you those now. Oh, just to mention, I'm not going to say them in any order, like any particular order or category of decoration. I'm just going to show you what I got because that's probably the easiest way to do it. So, in the whole time of having a Christmas tree at home and here as well, I've, or my mum and dad have never had a tree skirt. So, I thought it would be fun to pick up a tree skirt. Is that the picture? There you go, that's what it will look like when it is up. It's obviously, if you don't know what one is, it's just to cover the bottom bit of your tree. It's tartan, so it will fit in with our red, green and gold theme. And yeah, it comes flat packed and it pops up into like a, a box. But it's actually, I thought it would be cardboard, but it's actually fabric. So that was that. I don't think it was very expensive. Oh, five pounds and that was from B&M. So next up, we picked up some gift tags, 40 gift tags for a pound. So, you know, everybody always needs gift tags. You always end up running out. So picked up some gift tags. And actually to go along with that, we picked up a wrapping paper set. Oh, there you go. So we went for like our tree theme, red, gold, green, and my favorite is this Robins. And they have um, those little bows in, ribbons, and it does actually come with gift cards, gift tags, sorry, at the top somewhere. And that's from B&M too, and it was five pounds. Ooh. Oh, actually, wait, I'll show you these first. We also picked up some Christmas cards. I think they are just adorable. There are two different types there. And the best thing about these is they come with little stickers for the envelopes that say Merry Christmas on them. How amazing are those? So yeah, I don't. we don't really send out Christmas cards, if I'm honest, but I thought this year, why not, would be a lovely thing. Might send some in the post to obviously fam friends and family and yeah, hopefully it'll just be something to cheer people up and let them know that me and Idris are thinking of them. Then we picked up some ornaments for the tree and these ones are also from B&M. Look at those. They are three gold stars. They were three pound from B&M and I just think they look really premium and they will look lovely on our Christmas tree. Next up we have this bauble that Idris wanted, which was one pound and it's just like a colourful one. It does have blue in it, so it doesn't entirely go with our theme, does it Idris? But he really liked this one, so we picked that up. That was just a pound. So next up we got some luxury gold baubles, again from B&M. These were three pound and it's a pack of 16, so quite good actually for the price. So you've just got sparkly, matte and shiny gold baubles. And then I think finally from B&M we picked up this pack of 30 red baubles. 30? Sorry, 38 baubles. Oh, this isn't from B&M, this is from Wilkinson's actually. Can't remember. Um, actually, I think these were £5. They've got all different like patterned baubles. So yeah, picked up some of those. And I think that was, oops, <clears throat> I think that was it from B&M, yeah, I think that was it from B&M and the range, apart from the wreath, which I've already showed you. I'll just give you a quick 
quick reminder of that. There's our Christmas wreath that we're going to put on our front door. Obviously I did explain, I think yesterday, that we were going to go for a bow, but ended up seeing this wreath and picked that up and that was £18. If I didn't say that yesterday. So next I thought I'd show you the things that we actually picked up today. So obviously we go and do our food shopping every weekend, so we popped into Aldi and picked up a few bits. So first we picked up some more tinsel because, well, we need more tinsel. So we only needed to pick up one, but we accidentally picked up two. So yeah, I'll keep this on, it looks a bit festive, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, I picked up some red tinsel and we have red and gold tinsel. We couldn't pick up any green. There's not a lot of green decorations out there, but never mind. I also saw these, which is a pack of, um, well actually, three metre star bunting. I thought, as on this picture, it would look really nice next to our Christmas tree. So, picked up that and in our video next week, obviously I'll show you where I'm planning to put it. Um, I actually don't remember how much this was, but I think it was like £1, maybe £2, so it wasn't expensive at all. Then I picked up some adorable peg card holders, if you can see those. How Christmassy are those? They were £1.99 and Idris was like, are we really going to get cards? But if nobody sends us cards, then I'm just going to sit and write some cards to Idris and he can do one for me and I'm sure my mum and my granddad will give me one, so... Yeah, my grandparents always have cards on display and I thought it'd be really nice for us to do the same thing as well. So next up is something again for the tree. And I feel like you can't have a tree, well actually I've got two more things for the tree. I feel like you can't have a Christmas tree without either of those things. So first up, candy canes. Absolutely love these. I did just want to get the classic red and white but Idris thought that these ones would look better with our theme. So they are just some red, white and green ones and they are, oh, you get 12 peppermint candy canes and they were only 99p each, so I thought that's a bargain. And then next, oh, the other thing that I think you can't have a Christmas tree without is chocolates. So I didn't see any Cadbury's ones. I usually like to get Cadbury's ones, but I thought these would be lovely. They're like little chocolate baubles so I picked up two packs I think they were about 99 pence as well and they are just milk chocolate Christmas tree decorations and I thought they will be lovely to snack on whenever I'm walking past the Christmas tree and feeling a little bit hungry oh take this off very itchy okay so finally from Aldi I actually picked up a Christmas bedding if you can see there, it's reversible and I think it just says Merry Christmas on it. it. may say other things as well. It's an Easy Care Novelty Duvet Set, a double, and that was only £9.99 and I thought that will look great for our decorating with our Christmas video and, you know, you can never have too much bedding, so I thought that was a lovely little find. And finally, the last shop that we went to was JTF, as I mentioned, and we only actually picked up one thing from there, but this one thing was actually quite expensive. But yeah, as you can tell from the things I've shown you already, we don't actually have that many baubles from the things we got yesterday and this morning to actually fill our seven foot Christmas tree. So when we were in JTF, we came across these, wow. It is an 80 pack of Christmas baubles. Oh, sorry, you can see the ring light. But look how amazing those are. All different ones. Fancy baubles. Yeah, it just absolutely loved these. And they were expensive. They were £34.99. But for 80 baubles that we're going to reuse again and again and again, I thought... You know why not we should get it. it definitely goes with our theme and it's actually the only thing we could find that that had green baubles in you really just can't find many tree decorations with green in i'm guessing because most christmas trees are already green so people probably don't want to decorate with green but these ones have like glitter so and like um 
red glitter and then some of them have gold glitter if you can see there so yeah it's going to be very fun putting the strings on all of these all 80 baubles because they don't already have them on so probably going to sit and do that one one night this week or if not I'll be spending my time doing it on the weekend ready for putting up the tree but yeah that is everything that we have picked up for decorating I don't know whether it seems a lot or not I'm unsure some people obviously go really over the top and decorate every inch of their house or flat for Christmas and I'd say we've definitely got quite a lot to decorate with and maybe if I don't feel like it's enough after putting up the tree and decorating this next weekend then I can always go out and buy some more since I'm putting up the tree at the end of November but yes I hope that you've enjoyed coming along with us this weekend Christmas decoration shopping and I hope that you've enjoyed seeing my little haul of Christmas decorations. I think it's always fun to see what other people pick up to decorate their houses and to decorate their trees. I love seeing people's tree tree inspiration yeah on what is it called on Pinterest they have lots of ideas so I might actually have a look at some pictures of those obviously we've already picked our color theme but i can have a look to see how people actually decorate there are some other things that i already have from my mum i think i already mentioned that so i don't actually know where they are so i can't get them out right now but you'll be sure to see them in the decorate with us christmas video that will be coming next weekend and yeah that's it for today's video I hope that you enjoyed it if you did please feel free to give me a big like thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me and check me out on Instagram my username is at whip.style and yeah please please do subscribe obviously next week I am going to be uploading the decorate for Christmas with us video I'm not sure if I'll call it that but basically it'll be a video video vlog of Idris and I decorating the flat for Christmas and putting up our Christmas tree and I feel like that will just be a really cosy wintry vlog so yeah I hope that you stick around for the video for next week and once again I just wanted to say a big thank you for all the love and support I've received recently on all my videos so see you again soon and have a lovely week bye <laughs>